we started, it was very personal. It was all about just seeing these beautiful roses and then the British paintings and how it's a secret world. I think that we always find our inspiration from the environment that we live in. So early on, I think that we were really inspired by kind of more of a natural landscape. I think we always had kind of a keen interest in garden roses. Also, something about a rose in general, it seems so mundane because it's overexposure, but at the same time, it's so incredible when you think Even about it. Even think about it. Yeah. It's something that's really natural and yeah, and then also artificial. Like, it's I'm obsessed strange. with all the different hybrids and just kind of. Oh yeah, when you start finding the 1980s roses. Yeah, <laughs> like how you can look at different time periods and they're so reflective. The 80s, you know, the roses are huge and really deep, saturated, bright colors. And then coral and yellow mixed together. Yeah. <laughs> we always laugh. Anyone this, that yeah. loves unbridled beauty, we're obsessed with. So it would make sense that we would be inspired I, by something like I that. I don't think we're scared of it at all. You're seeing such a microcosm of something that's so pure and beautiful, and I think that we always say at the end of the day, all we want to do is make beautiful things. <laughs>